Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome back to Mama Angel's Kitchen. This is Wednesday evening, the night before Thanksgiving, and I am making my sweet potato pie, and I decided to bring you along with me, okay? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be delicious, and it's gonna be easy, okay? Let's go over the ingredients that we're gonna need really quick. I've got a nine inch pie crust and it's frozen. I did not make it. I buy, I bought it, you know, away from the store. It is a nine inch, it's not really deep. So it's just a, a small pie because we're having like three different desserts. So we don't need anything really giant. The other thing is our star here, the sweet potatoes. And because it's just one small pie, I've got, these were about six medium size sweet potatoes in you know a small little bowl and I've got them chunked up about like this again the size doesn't matter uh, just make sure they're all about the same size so that they cook um, at the same time okay rest of what else we're going to need here we've got my uh, carnation cream which is our evaporated milk okay I've got some butter the other thing that I use is sweet condensed milk, okay? And then I've got two medium, well actually these are large, two large eggs. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use both of them or just one. I'll kind of see how my filling is coming together and how much it is. And that'll determine if I need both of them or not, depending on how much it is, okay? Then we're gonna need um, vanilla flavoring or vanilla extract and then some lemon extract. We're also gonna need some sugar, some cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little allspice, okay? And I've got myself here a little, uh, this is a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. And I'm gonna be measuring everything pretty much, well, my spices anyway, about with this, um, you know, with this, I'll be gauging it with this here, okay? All right, guys, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how I poke some holes down in, let's see, I don't really have you up, let's see, let's go this way. Just take your pie crust and poke some holes down in there, and I'm going to bake this pie crust called pre-baking, I'm going to bake it for about five to seven minutes, just kind of get it to set so it doesn't go mushy on me um, while the pie is baking, okay? That's it, five to seven minutes. My oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. And then I'm going to put the potatoes on to boil, put them in water, cover them up, put them in a pot rather, cover them up with water, let them boil until they are fork tender. Once they are fork tender, I'll come back and we will do what we need to do next. <laughs> we'll make this pie filling. All right, I'll be back guys. All right guys, we're back and the potatoes are done. And this is my next size bowl up. So <laughs> they didn't shrink, okay? I got them in a bigger bowl because I need room to work with. We're gonna mix these babies up. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with getting our ingredients in here. And let's see, I want to start with the butter. And it's going to do, it's not a lot of butter. Okay, just a little bit. And that is maybe um, about a teaspoon of butter for the amount of potatoes that I have here. Okay, let's go in with that. I don't think I'm going to put any more butter than that in there. That's good. The rest of it is going to be about taste. Sugar, I'm going to go with a good uh, house tablespoon. Now let's do about a tablespoon and a half of the sugar. And the reason being is that I'm going to go in with some of this um, sweetened condensed milk. This gives it, of course, the sweetness, but it's also gonna give it, 
it's hard to describe. It it just um it gives it like a caramelization. Okay, and that is one. That was just my oven. I turned it off, so I had to reheat my oven up again. So that's what that beep was. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with just two of those for now. Okay. But it does like this caramelization sticky type of thing. It's, you know, it's so good. It's so good. Again, it's one of those ingredients that if you don't know it's there, you, you don't know it's there. <laughs> but if you know it's there, then you know that it's just a little stickiness. This is the evaporated milk. Let's give a nice little generous pour. You know, if I were to kind of measure it, it'd be about two of the spoonfuls here to start with, okay? All right, and I'm just gonna go in and start mashing it. And that gives me an idea of, you know, kind of what I'm working with. And then of course we're gonna go to the blender. But let's go with my little measuring. This is a quarter teaspoon, remember? And this is our nutmeg. And I know I want a quarter teaspoon of my nutmeg, if not more. <laughs> okay. And we're going to go in with the cinnamon. And I probably may only do a quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon. I'm more a fan of the nutmeg than I am the cinnamon. And already I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm holding back from the quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon. That's my personal preference. Okay. Um... And then let's do our vanilla. And I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to pour. You know, do it till you're satisfied with your vanilla, I say. And then I've only got a little tiny bit left of my um, lemon extract. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to pour all of that in there. Well, I'm going to hold back a little bit. That's quite a bit because lemon extract is pretty strong. So I will wait. Yeah, you can smell that right away. Oh my goodness, guys. I wish you could smell this. Okay. I'm going to tell you already. I want a little bit more cream. Okay. All right. Yep. And I may end up going with all of that cream. We'll see. We will see. Because I'm a... A little bit more okay and what was left in that cream in that jar probably a half a cup just under a half a cup is what was left in there okay all right guys I'm gonna go let's see if I can get you over to where my mixer is I'm gonna start you out seeing the mixing part here, let's see. Yeah, I think you can get some of a good glimpse here. All right, let me mix this up a little bit. wanted you to see is you see these strings on here okay yeah, I'm gonna mix this with the blender until these strings are no more so you mix it and then you run it under water and clean those strings off of there all right and then you I say you keep mixing it until you do that okay once I get that all done, then I'll bring you guys back and we'll finish up. Um, all right, there we go. Be back. Okay, guys, I got it all smooth the way I want it. That took a total of seven uh, rinses. And, or should I say, you know, mixing, blending, rinsing off the, the blades, uh, the beaters, I guess they're called. For the mixer, it took a total of seven times to get this as smooth as I want it. Okay, now you're not going to 
100% see that there's no strings on your your beaters, okay? But you'll know that you've got some off of there, or enough off, okay? Because you don't want to braid into a sweet potato pie and it's, it's stringy and gritty. You don't want that. Okay, I forgot my allspice. I tasted it just a little bit. And I don't need any more of the lemon extract. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, let's go on with some of this allspice. And again, I'm going to go a little bit shy on the allspice and taste it because I do want to go back in with some more nutmeg. But at this point, it is taste and go, taste and go. I've got it. I may thin it out just a tap more. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to start with, I want it just a little bit sweeter. So I'm going to start and go in with just a little bit more of the sweetened condensed cream. I could eat this stuff <laughs> just by itself, guys. I sure could. I could eat this just by itself and, you know, truth be told, there's times I have, not just, you know, eat it, but I'm making a dish with it. I always get myself just a little taste of it because it's so good. You know, it's just pure sugar, pretty much. Sugar and cream. All right, let's, um, let's get a little taste. Oh man, oh boy, okay. that's good. Boy, that's good. That lemon, guys, if you've never done the lemon extract, I'm going in with a little bit more of the nutmeg. I like the nutmeg flavor, I like it a lot. Um, so, you know, I've done, and you know, do that to your own personal preference, seriously. If you want more cinnamon, go heavier on the cinnamon. You want more allspice, go heavier on that. That is really, honest and truly, a personal preference. I'm going to have to put this under the blender again before I put it in the, um, the pie crust. And here's why. See that, that clump right there? That's a clump of nutmeg. And I'm not able to get in there and get it. There it goes. It, it did. Okay, there we go. As long as I can get it mixed up, then I won't have to do that. But I may do it anyway, because there's a couple clumps of that nutmeg in there. And I don't want to bite into a clump of nutmeg. Okay. All righty. Let's see. What are we looking at now? Oh, there's... Doggone, y'all. That is so good. Just another tap of cinnamon. For me, okay. All I'm doing now, guys, is I am making it taste the way I enjoy it. Okay, that's all you do at this point. You make it taste the way that you enjoy it. Okay, this is your consistency. Right here, okay. You want it, there you go, just like that. It's not runny and soupy, you know, but it is, you know. I don't know how to say it, but that's your consistency that you want, okay? All right. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm happy. And I think I'm only going to go in with one egg. With this amount, I think I'm happy with one egg, okay? The egg is just a binder, that's all it is. And so, the more um, filling that you have, you know, obviously the more of a binder you're gonna need. But I think this amount right here, one egg is plenty. I don't think I need another egg. No, I'm good, I'm good, just like this. Okay guys, I'm gonna run this through the blender one more time and get it completely blended. And then I'm going to pour it in the pie crust. And I'll come back and show you that um, pour in the pie crust. All right, I'll be back. 
Okay, guys, here we go. And I've got my pie, pie crust sitting on a baking sheet so I don't, if it overspills, it won't mess up anything. Okay, and this is how that uh, pre-made pie, pie crust comes out. It just kind of sets it a little bit for you uh, so that, like I said, it doesn't become all gummy uh, with the filling in there. All right, and here we go. Oh, it's beautiful. And guys, I put the egg in first, of course, because, or last, sorry, of course, because I don't want to taste it with raw egg in there. You know, I've seen some cooks that do that, and uh, I, I guess it's okay for them. <laughs> but, you know, I was always taught not to do that, so I don't do that. I taste it and make sure it tastes good first. Wasn't that perfect? Oh my goodness, look at that. Just the perfect amount. All right, let's get it all smoothed out there. And you know, if you wanna give yourself a little design or something in there, just kind of swirl it a little bit, okay? Make it all pretty. There you go. My mother could do that. She'd get a nice little design in that little <laughs> curl on top. All right, guys. Into the oven, this baby's going to go. It's going to take about an hour, okay? But I'll let you know exactly how long this took. Of course, the bigger it is, the deeper the dish is, it's going to take longer. Um, but this here is still probably going to take, you know, 45 minutes to an hour because it's a pretty small pie. All right, guys, but I'll be back when it's done. Okay, guys, here it is. Here is that beautiful pie, and it's beautiful also, I tell you. But it took an hour and 40 minutes <laughs> in the oven to get it like this here. And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a beautiful color like this. You're looking for these cracks. See those cracks in there? When it starts to crack and you get those beautiful brown peaks like that, you know your pie is done. That's exactly what you're looking for. And all ovens are going to vary. Um, and I haven't made a pie in this oven i passed the pie baking over to my daughter years ago and she normally brings the pie but because i wanted to do a video i decided to do the pie this year so this is the first time for me doing a sweet potato pie in this oven so you know it's gonna vary in everybody's oven but this is what you're looking for all right guys i'm actually gonna cut the video here because i'm not gonna do a taste test tonight because this is for thanksgiving tomorrow you will have a thumbnail of it sitting on its pretty platter. But after that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video tonight right here, though. So if you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. I'm going to keep them coming. To the new subscribers that have come on, welcome, welcome. And thank you guys ever so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments, and I hope you try this one, and let me know what you thought about it, all right? I love you guys. Stay prayed up. I'll see you in my next video.